Hey guys and thank you for joining me. This is Bruce with the Aquarium Life and today I'm going to show you a common repair on Milwaukee's salinity tester. Alright so this video is not necessarily an overview on the salinity tester. It's just about a common repair. This is the MA887 Milwaukee salinity tester. It's a uh, digital refractometer and uh, it's really a cool, uh, you know, really a cool unit. However, they're pretty fragile. Uh, I got pretty frustrated. I accidentally dropped a couple of them. I'm really clumsy. And, uh, you know, I'm just thinking, man, this is just toast. But knowing me, I got to tear it apart before I uh, throw it in the trash. And I was pleasantly surprised when I found an easy repair that probably a lot of you have had to deal with. So what happens is you'll get an error code, either an ELE or um, it'll say error, and there's not error. Um, you know, it, it's, just, it's got the well full of water, and uh, this happens, actually, one of these, I think I didn't even drop it and started doing this. Uh, I probably dropped it. Anyway, so um, I'll, I'll show you, I'll show you the repair on this. I'll show you, uh, you know, it's really easy to take these apart and put them back together. Okay, you can see this has got the ELE -E on there, that error code. And on this one, let's see, we're reading at, uh, well, that's reading a little high, but uh, anyway, this has got uh, some salted water in there that I put on there. So this one's working, this one is not. All right, here we've got our broken unit. All you're going to need is a Phillips screwdriver and possibly a flathead screwdriver. That's it. On the back here, we've got these plugs. You're going to take all those out except this one. This one right here doesn't, uh, doesn't hide a screw. Alright, we want to uh, go ahead and take the battery out. Make sure you've got that uh, rubber o-ring on there. And then we're going to pull these rubber feet out. And these just glue in place. So you could uh, tack them up with some uh, some kind of adhesive when you're done with this. I also wanted to note, I actually have not had this unit apart yet, so hopefully it has the same problem as the others have had, and it's going to be an easy fix. Uh, these are a little over a hundred bucks a piece, so it's definitely worth a few minutes of your time to, to check this out before you toss it. I want to point something else out too. I think it's pretty awesome that the screwdrivers I have match these. Alright, the, the case uh, might be a little bit difficult to separate. You shouldn't have to get in there and pry or anything. It's just got a rubber, rubber gasket in there. And then you can see this uh, piece here this, for the 9 volt battery. There's a little uh, slot here and it's tight, but it will slip through there. So we got that off. Here's the rubber gasket I was talking about, and then there's some uh, little O-rings here that hold the screws in place, so they uh, don't necessarily come all the way out. You, you can leave them attached in there so they don't get lost. And then uh, you want to inspect your, your circuit board, make sure that uh, there's no corrosion in there. If there is, then you know, you're, you're pretty much done at that point. I, I can't imagine that they're selling these boards separate. And at that point, it's probably really not worth your time to try to repair anything. Uh, these three screws here, these three screws are um, what holds this cover on, and this is where our problem most likely is.
So what what happens is if you drop this, this lens here can get out of alignment. And this may or may not be what's happened, but if it is, then uh, this, is, uh, this is the solution to the problem, is that we're just going to get this out, and we're going to put it carefully back in, and uh, tighten everything up. Now what I've done to put these back in is I'll put it on this piece, and you can see you've got, uh, this is really difficult to see here, let's see if we can get the camera in on it. There's a flat piece and uh, kind of a, a little bit of a concave piece to it. Uh, if you want that concave piece sitting out that way, um, get that in there nice and secure. It doesn't go in the second slot, it goes in this one. Uh, you shouldn't really have to force it in there, just, just firmly push it in there. And then we're going to put this in, but we're going to have to uh, turn the unit upside down to install this so that uh, this lens doesn't fall out. So we're, we're just going to fit this back up in there. Okay, I had to give that a couple uh, couple tries to get it on there, but I got it back in. Uh, you, you've just got to kind of work upside down when you're doing it. If you hear anything loose in there, then the lenses come out. So it, it takes a little bit of practice and a few tries maybe. So you can see here I've got, uh, got the battery installed. I've uh, calibrated it. And uh, we're reading uh, 1.023 with the salt water. So this thing is fixed. All right, uh, I'm not going to make you watch me reassemble the whole thing. Uh, just be mindful of this seal here. Make sure that that's fit in, in the groove. Make sure that uh, you press your, uh, your battery connector back through that little, uh, little slit there. And uh, we are good to go. Hey, thank you so much for watching. Um, hopefully you got some value out of this video. Uh, if you could, please subscribe. That helps me out a lot. If you liked the video, hit that like button, and that helps me out as well. Uh, I'm on Instagram as vital underscore reef, and I look forward to doing more and more of these videos, and I'll see you guys soon.